Good morning, everyone. Trying to get the uh, lock off. Yes, I got the lock off. Here we are. So um, I'm going to be doing a 40 by 40. This is a big one. Uh, 40 by 40. And uh, I'm going to try to do the same I did yesterday. Only um, I want it to be very light. So I want the whole background to be light. And then I'm going to come in with these ribbons. And they will have a little bit a darker color. So that's what I'm going for. Before I start off, I, um, I have this channel that um, this person, Heather, has 55 videos. And um, she has some really beautiful stuff on there. She, uh, she makes a lot of um, different uh, pours. It's flip and drag and um, abstract. Uh, oops, let's go back okay. there. Hi guys. <laughs> let's go back. And, um, you know, just lovely, lovely pours. Um, I've seen a lot of them, and I really enjoyed watching them. And I'm sure, you know, if I don't upload enough, guys, I'm sure that you could um, also uh, watch these. Uh, I recognize a lot of colors that I do, so that is pretty cool. Uh, especially this one, the Ocean Colors Flip Cup. That is a cool video. And um, I just really, uh, I uh, really enjoyed watching them. And I'm sure you will too. So if you want to uh, check her out, it's uh, Heather Wright Art. If you put that in the search uh, field in uh, YouTube, you will find her um, channel. And I'm sure that you'll enjoy it as much as I do. So that's... Uh, First thing I wanted to do, I wanted to do this three videos ago, but you know, me being scatterbrained like I am, I keep forgetting. I did little post, uh, post-its and I just keep forgetting. So that's, uh, that's pretty cool. And uh, of course, you know, like I always say, I really, really um, appreciate people watching my channel, but um, to get a good grip of, um, of, let's see if I'm not in slow motion. No, I don't think so. Okay, so um, I know I, I really appreciate you guys watching my channel, but you have to watch more channels because then you get like more possibilities and some people come up with different things and that might just help you uh, to get to the point where you're really satisfied with your um, own pores. So this is the sponsor list, November 2017. Uh, yesterday I got all the uh, chains and lockets in that uh, are the pendants that I'm going to be uh, doing in the giveaway of November. And like I said, I'm going to be sending them without track and trace. But that's only because I want to send more of them out. Um, if they are in the lowest po postal um, uh, thing that I have to put on there, I might even do eight. Eight people because it's uh, close to Christmas. And if I send them on the 1st of um, December, I'm sure they will all be there before Christmas. And that would just make me really happy that a lot of people got one of my pendants. I'm going to sign them, give it a little AR. Um, the signature I usually do on the back of my uh, paintings. And I'll show you what I do on the back of my paintings. A lot of people have been asking about that. So what I do on the back, this is the A and the R from Anna Marie Ridderhoff. That's what I always do on the uh, on the back side of the painting. So I'll put that on the locket, really, really small, that it doesn't uh, disturb the pattern. But that's what I'm going to put on there. And right now I'm going to get one of my paintings to show you how I sign them. <coughs> now this is one. Uh, this one's in the Etsy shop. And it's a, a really a pretty little thing with a lot of uh, greens and blues. And as you see here, a little bit of glitter. It's already varnished. It's in my Etsy shop. And I sign them on the side like this. So that's the AR. And then I put Ritterhoff. And then on the back, as you can see here, uh, and I really press this into the wood. So even if it, uh, the, the, the color would fade, it's still pressed in the wood, so that's how I sign my uh, sign my paintings. 
Now, a lot of people have uh, talked about the back of the uh, canvas. Now, I don't think this is messy at all. It's just, you know, what happens when you do a painting. So um, it's not so dirty that I think, oh, you can't send that out. So even if you uh, think it's uh, it should be tidier, what you could do is just put tape over this bit here, over the wood, uh, and then, you know, it'll be uh, just a, a little bit more sharper, I think, more straight, but I don't mind. So this is the one uh, in the Etsy shop. You can see how I varnish. It's uh, very glossy. Uh, this is uh, just uh, one or two layers of um, a varnish. When I put on a lot of more layers, that's when it starts to look like a little bit like resin. Not totally, but a little bit. But this is enough to bring out those colors because they really pop, as you can see. So um, there should be no problem with um, selling it like this. So thank you for that. Okay, now... We're going to go and uh, do this pour. So what I had in mind was I'm going to do a little bit of color, a lot of white, and I want it to be really, really light. And then when I come back in with the ribbons, that's when it, uh, when it, when it will get its definition. Let me put you aside a little bit. Yeah, that's a little bit better because um, that's about the middle, yeah. Okay, now I have a little cup, which I will be using. Oops, a little bit stuck because, oops. I, uh, oop, there's a little tear in the cup, we don't want that. So what I'm gonna do is put in the uh, really beautiful turquoises, and this is all paint that I used yesterday. And I didn't put lids on it because if you're gonna pour the next day, you don't really need to put a lid on it. Uh, it doesn't add anything to it because as you can see it's totally uh, totally fluid like you want it and here we come with a, the other color and a little tiny tiny little bit of that blue that's what I'm gonna put in now I'm gonna get a little stick And give it one little stir like that no more than that and we're ready to put this on here and I was thinking I'm gonna fold it over instead of um, you know the pushing and dragging and that thing I'm gonna put white over the top so what I'd like is to have it go like this because I do want to color all over And up here and I'm gonna come in with my stick and empty out the cup a little that's that like that okay now that I've got that I'm gonna come in with the white and this is all Windsor and Newton and in the background color there is no absolutely look at those cells in the background color there is no silicone so what I'm going to do is try to lay it down whoops, next to the uh, colors that I've already done, just like that. Some in the middle here. And then I'm going to fold it over. Now, <laughs> this is something that I, see that? Just pull it over there. I haven't done this before. I did in a really small uh, 10 by 10, but you know, the smaller you go, the easier it is. And I, all I want is a lot of um, white covering those colors because in a bit I am going to smooth it out and I'm hoping that it then will stay really, really light because that's what I really am looking for for the background. And I have another cup. Always have enough uh, paint. See, putting it over here. That's it. And over here. 
Okay. Now, one thing I should have taken with me is my big pellet knife, but because we don't have it, we'll have to do with what we have downstairs. But I will be getting it as soon as I finish this video. I'll get all my big pellet knives. Okay, that's it. I think we're pretty much done. Now, I do have to swipe it, and I was thinking maybe I could do that with a piece of plastic or a piece of baking, baking paper. Let me see. Okay, I've chosen for the uh, baking paper. See that? That's uh, back papier baking paper. Now, I'm going to put a little bit on here and I'm going to swipe just like that. Okay. And swipe this way. Because what I didn't want is a, um, whoops, turn it around a bit here. Because I see some little holes in there and I don't have enough going down here. So I'll help it along. And down here, I want to have the whole canvas pretty much covered in paint. That's it. So I'm going to keep this on the side. Yeah, it's going to be a mess. Look at my uh, marker. <laughs> okay. Now, I'm going to help it a little bit. But this is more, you know, sort of abstracty. As you can see, That is all done. The sides uh, are not done, and that's why I kept the paper, because I'm going to scoop it off the paper. As you can see, a little scoop there, and then just do this on the side, but that's what I'm going to do after I finish the video. It's pretty boring. So, in comes the torch. Now that is a really beautiful light. That's what I was looking for. See all the white popping through? That is cool. But I do need a lot of cells in the, uh, in the background. Okay, we got us a lot of cells. Now what I'm going to try to do is get it to move a little bit, and it is. Ooh, that's cool. Look at that. See how it's now it's swirling a little bit? So that is cool. And I'm letting it go down, 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 because that's when you get all that motion in, your, uh, in the background. So that's looking cool. Moving it the other way and letting it, the excess drip off because we're going to be adding those. Ooh, that is beautiful. Look at that. See how this is all coming down? That is beautiful. That is exactly what I wanted. And there's a lot of paint on the table so I can do the sides. But like I said, I'll do that later. Okay. Now. This is exactly what I had in my mind. So this is this is a really eye-catching thing in the whole painting. So I will be putting my ribbons, leaving this out. So as the you know, this is really going to be even better when I put on the ribbon because when you put on the ribbon, 
you have to tilt because you want the ribbons to broaden up a little bit but then it's going to move the uh, background also so that's going to be really cool now we're going to come in with like i said a lot of dark because we want some contrast we want the ribbons to really pop so i'm gonna put in a little bit of white because that's cool and of course I'm going to put in green and I'm going to finish it off with a little bit of light turquoise then I'm going to stir it just a tiny bit here we go because we want all the colors incorporated now keeping this and I'm just going to come over here there we go and up here oh that's nice and green come down here and what you don't want to do is um, not having enough uh, of these oops and a little drip well we'll have to use that what you don't want to do is that you want to that you have to do two ribbons you don't want to do that two times because then it will um, be too much too much of tilting let me put that there that is cool then a little bit down here that's it <coughs> I'm looking if it's uh, balanced and I'm missing a little bit down here so we're gonna put on another one oops That's it. I think this is pretty much balanced. And now we're going to do a little bit, see how they broaden up? Uh, you'll see it in a bit. And what I'm doing is just looking if it's uh, moving as I'm expecting it to move. And we don't want, well, that's sort of. See, now I do have to come in because I want these a little bit wider too. And that's what you normally don't want to do because um, then you disrupt the whole pattern just a little bit too much. But we'll have to do that because I find these a little bit too thin. <coughs> Here we go. So I'm going to come in. Oops, that's too much white. Just one more, that's it. And make that one go over the side. A little bit more, come on down. That's it. Yep, okay, now I'm gonna be torching. Now, there's one problem that I have with my new setup. I can't take you guys down. I can't disconnect you from the uh, monitor because then I'm going to lose my audio. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the, uh, the whole painting up and just do it like this. Okay. So like I said, down here, this bit, <clears throat> this is the part I really wanted to keep and I kept it. And then over here you have all these beautiful... I hope it goes in focus. There it is. See that? 
That is really abstract. I love it. A lot of paint dripping, but I don't care. As long as you guys can see what I did. There you go. Now, what I really like about it, I, I think I'd hang it like this. Nah, maybe all the way around, let's see. Yeah, that's what, that's what I, I'd like it like this. So back in focus, yeah. Now, this I kept, like I said, you know, that was the most appealing part to the background, so you want to keep that. And you can move around it like I did, and, you know, just give those ribbons a go. Um, what The only thing that you have to think about is that the back of your, the background of your painting and the ribbons should have uh, a different contrast. So as you can see, that's why I put in a lot more dark blue and that makes it pop, it makes it lay on top, it gives a sort of a three-dimensional feel to it. And um, I think I'm pretty happy with how it turned out. And of course, every single one is going to be different, So, uh, but I'm pretty happy with what it did. Right now I'm going to um, finish off the sides and I'm going to put this on, on YouTube. Uh, the videos I'm making are a bit longer, but I think, um, I think they are a little bit better than when I was videoing upstairs. Yeah, I think I might even like it like this. Yeah. Because of this, this point here in the middle. So, uh, I'm happy with it. And... Once it's dry, of course, I'll show you. The one I did yesterday isn't dry yet, or I would show you that one. But um, it will be uh, dry by tomorrow, and I will show that to you. Okay, guys? So I really appreciate every sponsor, every subscriber, everyone that watches my channel. Thank you all so much. And I hope to see you uh, this weekend when I do a lot more pours, but I'm going to go a little bit smaller. I think I'm going to be doing a couple of tri-pitches or whatever you call them, um, but three in a row, something like that, a little bit smaller, but just to give a little bit of a, um, a hint of what you can do with this kind of pour. Uh, I'm not totally um, done experimenting with this, so uh, I'll be doing a lot more of experimenting with this uh, technique. So love you all to pieces, liebe euch alle, and I will see you in the next video.